Well, good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Alan Baggett with today's Victor Church. And uh, I'm coming to you today with our word of encouragement. I'm running a little late today. Again, I've had a lot of phone calls come in <clears throat> today and had a lot of things that I needed to take care of. Forgot to turn my sound off on my computer. It's a little chilly outside today, so I thought I'd try to do it here in the office. So forgive the uh, a little bit of messiness. Uh, a messy office. Some people say a messy office means you're unorganized, but messy office means I know where everything's at. I mean, I got everything out where I need it to be so I can do things. But anyway, I want to bring you a word this morning and to build on what we're talking about yesterday. <clears throat> but but hey, can I, let me preface this. You know, before I, uh, today I've been listening, you know, I've been listening to my preachers and I've been listening to some word today. And uh, I just want to really caution people. There's a lot of word going out there uh, that's really uh, fear mongering, and uh, a lot of there's a lot of people out there calling themselves prophets right now uh, that are saying uh, pretty wild things, and uh, and and some of it's coming. Some of it's coming to pass, but most of it doesn't. I just need, I just, before I even say anything else, I just want to just really encourage you <clears throat> to uh, be careful what you're allowing into your spirit and careful what you're listening to uh, because I've, I've, I've listened to a few of these guys just to try and get a feel for where they're at and I'm, I'm realizing that some of the things they're saying right now, uh, they've said other things in the past that just haven't happened. So, when we're, we're speaking with a prophetic voice, when you speak with a prophetic voice, a prophetic voice speaks and it uh, comes to pass. In other words, God doesn't change his mind. He doesn't give you a word and then change his word and change his mind. So just just be careful. Just be careful with that. And, uh, deser and, and let a spirit of discernment rest upon you. And just don't let the social events around us guide uh, your prophetic voice. It just, it just doesn't need, need to happen. Like I've always told everybody, we're going out with a shout. We're going out, we're going out in revival. We're going out bringing people into the kingdom of God. Uh, we're going, we're, we're, we're going, God's going to be faithful to his people. And he's proving that, not just in America, but around the world. So I just want to encourage you uh, in that today. Now, beyond that, Beyond that, let me get into our, our passage. Now, I want you to know I'm inside the house right now today in my office. i got a door right here. And just beyond this door, uh, uh, my children, uh, a couple of my kids are out there with a couple of my grandkids. And they're making a lot of noise. So if you hear, if you hear anything in the background, little Annie wants to come in here with me. Uh, but she won't sit still long enough. And she's uh, making a little racket back there. So if you hear anything... That's just uh, Harris and Annie uh, learning how to love each other <laughs> as kids. God bless you. Hey, there's Sheila. Good morning, Sheila. Good to see you. Good morning, Christina. Good to see you guys. Uh, Tim, good to see you, Tim. I'm seeing people jump on now. So I want to get into this encouraging word now that i got a few people on. And uh, I want to go to the book of Isaiah. Book of Isaiah, I want to build on what we did from yesterday. Amy, good to see you, Miss Amy. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. I love this passage. Yesterday, I loved that passage, but this is great too. Listen to this. Isaiah 40, 31. But those who trust in the Lord will find strength. They will soar high on the wings of eagles, and they will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not faint. Those, that, that's the NLT, but new, other, other versions go, but those who trust in the Lord uh, will renew their strength, renew the strength, and they will soar on the wings of eagles, and they'll run and not grow weary, and they'll walk, and they will not faint. God has given us strength. I, I, I'm just sharing this story. Hey, Marilyn, good to see you. Miss Connie, uh, Miss Connie, uh, good to see you. I prayed with uh, Kenneth's uh, father uh, yesterday. And had prayer over over his surgery that's taking place today, and and uh, even said a sinner's prayer with him, and he prayed with me, and just uh, 
uh, had tear, uh, had his eyes were all uh, watered up, and I tell you what, it was just a it was just a wonderful moment. So I see you there, kind of. I just wanted to say that while we're here. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on the wings of eagle, and they'll run and not grow weary, and they'll walk and they'll not faint. We need to find strength. We have strength. We have we are empowered by the presence of God. And that empowering strength of God is available to each and every one of us. So today, as we're walking through our situations and walking through our day, we need to understand and and realize that we have an empowering strength that is available to you and I, because when we trust in the Lord, he will renew our strength or we will find new strength. I don't know about you, but have you ever been in that situation where you just had to find, uh, you, you get tired. How many ever just got tired? I mean, not just your body, your mind gets tired and your spirit gets tired and you just, you just get tired. We all do that. This saying, if we trust in the Lord, lay our trust upon him, we'll find new strength and he'll renew our strength. But you do realize sometimes when we get tired is because we're focusing on the wrong things. When we put our trust in the Lord, he lifts that burden off of us. That burden is what wears us down. That burden is what makes us tired. Our spirits were were created to soar. Our spirits were created to be in the presence of God. Our spirits were created to have communion with our Heavenly Father, to be everlasting and everlasting and everlasting. So, So we get weak and we get tired and we get run down because we're not putting our full trust in God and we're carrying our burdens. And boy, that's easy to do, is it not? That is so easy to do. And we're carry, we carry our burdens when he says, hey, I want to lift those burdens off of you so that you can find new strength, that you can find new strength and I can renew your strength. And when I renew your strength, you will soar like on the wings of eagles. You'll soar high. That's why I say wings of eagle. He just pushes above the storm. He, the eagle just pushes above the clouds. He pushes above the storm. He pushes above all that stuff and, 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 and waits it out and, uh, and gets out of the way. He wants us to soar above the clouds, soar above the storm, soar above the circumstance and let him lift the burdens off of us, us and we'll soar like the eagles. And then we'll find that as we're running, as we're going forward in our day, that we're not growing weary and our spirit is still strong. And as we're walking forward, we don't feel like we're about to fall out because of all the junk that's going on around us and the stuff that we're trying to carry. His strength, he wants to empower each and every one of us and it's available to us. And and he wants to remove, he wants to lift and remove those burdens. All that stuff you're carrying, he wants to lift and remove those things off of you so that you have that spiritual strength. My prayer for you today is as you're going forward in your day that you find new strength and you're, you're, you find the ability to have uh, unhindered ability. There's, there's what I want to say, unhindered ability. Good morning, Sarah. I see you there. Good to see you. I want you to have some unhindered ability to have strength and run and soar today in the strength of God. I like that. I, I don't know why it just came to my spirit. Unhindered ability unhindered ability to soar high and to run hard today and not be weary because of it. You know, when I get through with my walks and and runs in the morning, when I first get up and I get ready to do it, my body says, you don't want to do this. I get up and I do it anyway. And as I get up and do it, when I come off and I'm finished, sometimes I'm hot and sweaty. It's according to what the weather's like outside. And, and sometimes I'm just, uh, uh, my heart's beating, my, get my heart beating and pumping really good. And I come back and you'd think I'd be wore out and tired. But as soon as I shower off and I come out of the shower, man, I feel energy just pounding through my body, just pounding over me, this energy. Wh- wh- why is it? Because I'm getting new strength in my run. I'm getting new strength in my walk. I'm getting new strength. So God wants you to have new strength today. And we find that when we allow him up, we put our trust in him and let him lift that burden off of us. And we get unhindered ability to have strength and to run and to soar above our situation and to walk and not faint. So what do we do? We just have to let go and trust him. Just let go and trust him. Hey, Dave, good to see you, brother. Hey, man, it's my brother from Las Vegas. 
Just let go and trust Him, and He'll lift you up today. Just let go and let Him lift you up today. See, I don't know what you're going through today, and I don't understand everything that's happening to you today. But I know this, and I know it for a fact, and I know it with the surety in my spirit that God is with you. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. And he wants to lift you above the storm in your whatever situation you're walking in right now. He wants to lift you up and above that. He wants you to soar on the wings of eagles. He wants you to be able to run your race today and not be weary in your spirit, in your in your mind, in your heart. He wants you to walk out your path today and not faint and have energy and strength. But we do that when he lifts the burdens off of us and we're not carrying the load. He's telling you today, I want to carry your load. I can't promise you that you'll not have adversity today. I can't promise you that you won't have problems today. I can't promise you somebody's not going to come against you today. I'm not promising you that, that nothing bad's not going to happen today or something's going to go crazy around you today. But I can tell you this, that if you allow God, he'll lift that burden off of you and you put your trust in him and he can cause your spirit to soar and give you strength to run this out and have vigor and vitality and unhindered ability ability to exercise his strength. Amen. And that's a good word. I didn't get many hearts today. I must have gotten maybe made some folks mad today, maybe or something, but hopefully not because that's supposed to be a good encouraging word. So if you enjoy that, give me a couple of hearts and let me know that you're actually there and, and enjoying what I'm saying. But listen, let thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Listen, let God's strength rise up inside of you. Let him be your burden bearer. Let him give you unhindered ability to run this race today with strength. And at the end of the day, not be spiritually worn out and be uh, mentally worn out, but be vitalized and, and, uh, and vitalized to have uh, the vigor and the vitality that you need. God's going to do that. And that's what you can do today. I just want to encourage you to put, let him lift your burdens, let him be your burden bearer. Find and renew your strength. Soar high on the wings of the eagles and so that you can run and not grow weary. And that at the end of the day, you still have spiritual strength. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Thank you. Hey, share this uh, just in a little bit. It's going to be up on the Facebook page with the, with the link to this one right here. I know the lighting's not too good. I didn't put my lights up or anything. So this is just raw light coming from up here. So uh, my big giant nose is causing a shadow to come down. But that's all right. It's going to be okay, but share this. And, and as I, you know, when I post that YouTube link, share that YouTube link. Amen. Have people subscribe to it. So they'll get this. They need to hear these words and I'm going to continue this on because I want you to be blessed. Amen. Let me pray with you this morning. Stay with me. Don't jump off as I'm praying. <laughs> Stay with me till the prayer is over. Amen. God, I thank you for your goodness and your grace and your mercy. I ask father that you uh, give each individual here today that's watching this right now and that's going to be watching it later on, give them strength, Father. And beyond just strength, Father, give, give, give them uh, wings that they can rise above. Father, lift the burdens off of them right now, whatever adversity might be facing them today, whatever situation might be facing them today. Father, give them the ability to put their trust in you, that you can lift that off of them and that they can renew their strength. And Father, that and that when this day is over, that they won't be their their mentally won't be just just totally trashed, and their spirit they won't be totally trashed. But Father, they'll find out. Say, you know, I feel the energy. I feel the energy. I feel the energy. Father, I just ask that you let your energy of your Holy Spirit just begin to flow through each and every one and lift that burden and let them feel that energy, Father, that strength begin to well up inside of them even right now. And at the end of the day, Father, let that strength be even stronger than it is right now that they're feeling this very moment. And we just speak that forth, Father, now in the name of Jesus and agree upon it as a fellowship of believers. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. And uh, share this. Don't let this go. Don't, don't let this just be to just you guys. Let's share this and get this word out and let people know. Remember, we got church this coming Sunday. I'm going to probably, if I go with what's in my spirit right now, build upon uh, the, talking about the promised land like I did Sunday, and I'm going to build up on that. Uh, there's a couple of aspects of that that I didn't get to get to uh, that are powerful words. 
and I want to speak that into your life. God bless you guys, and I will see you tomorrow morning, and until then, be strong, let him be your burden bearer, and walk in strength, and let's finish this day out with victory, peace, joy, and strength. Amen, guys. I'll see you in the morning.